Hey, it's Jeff at Seed Code. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get this behavior. If I click on the icon uh, for each of these module buttons, uh, we get a new slide panel in the right hand sidebar area of the home screen here in Seed Code Complete. And we have some tools that will let us um, dynamically search that module and uh, show only matching records in this filtered portal down here. Okay. Uh, in the last video, what we did is we created these new buttons down here. Um, go to supplies with this little paperclip icon uh, for the new module we'll be working on. Um, and we did that by duplicating these buttons here for go to inventory, also known as items. And so you see when I click on the new button down here, it just does the same thing. It just goes to the items panel. So we need to uh, modify um, a script that's going to run when we click on this button and then also create the new side panel um, that uh, will show us similar elements from our new module uh, supplies. So let's jump into layout mode and look to see what script is running when we click on that button. It's select inventory panel. Okay, so I'm going to back out of there and go into my scripts and go find that script uh, select inventory panel. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to start renaming every everywhere I see inventory or item. In this case, we have we use two terms to mean the same thing. Uh, I'm going to uh, replace it with the word supply or supplies. Okay, and so this is a new script that I duplicated. I'm just going to change these things uh, so we're consistent. And then this variable right here, instead of item selector, that's going to be supply selector. Then this variable instead of being called item ID list, that's supply ID list. And that's the only thing that has to be changed in this script. So I'm going to save it and close it and come back here, remap this uh, button object to the new script, select supply panel and click OK. Okay, I'll, I'll jump back into browse mode just to save those changes. And But you'll see that if I click on it, I am running the different script now, but uh, it just does the same thing. It goes to that same panel. So we need a new slide panel. Okay, let's go back into layout mode and have a look at this slide control object. If I double click on it, you see we've got 13 panels. Uh, so what's going on there? Um, let's go, let me just quickly go back to number one. Remember this button up here is for contacts. Uh, the first panel is called, here's the name of it, panel contact selector. Let's bring that down there, panel contact selector. Second one, panel company selector, right? That was for this um, other module. And if we scroll through, we see projects and uh, invoices. These are, these are all the uh, selector panels, okay? Up until number seven, that's item selector. Number eight, now we go back to contact, and these are the detail panels. So what we have are two panels for each module, a selector and a detail. And um, and then we go through and we have all the same modules. We have a detailed version of all the same modules. Now we're back to the beginning. So let's go to the one we were on, uh, items, okay, because I'm going to copy some elements from there. Um, and then while I'm here, I'm going to click the plus button because we're going to create a new panel. And this is going to be called, in fact, let me just grab this name here. Instead of item selector, this is going to be called um, panel supply selector. That's our new module, supplies or supply. Okay, uh, Let's bring it back to item and what I want to do is I want to copy paste the elements from this panel, not the panel itself, just the elements that are on there. So I just held down my command key to uh, marquee around those elements. Now I've got them on my clipboard and I'm going to come back in here and paste I'm using a lot of sh keyboard shortcuts uh, so this video doesn't take too long. Um, now let's just compare where everything is. Okay, looks like it's a little out of place. Um, so I'm just going to nudge everything um, up a few pixels. One more pixel, I think, and I'm there. Okay, while I'm here, I'm just going to change this to supplies. That's how we'll know we're on the new panel. And uh, I named it, right? So let's go back into browse mode. Let's see if that works so far. Um, so we're on supplies. Let's go here. That goes to item, items, and I click here and we go to supplies. That's our new panel. Um, yeah, that got stuck. Okay, so we're good to go there. Um, so let's go back to contacts. 
What happens when I click on one of these in the list? Okay, that's when we go to this detail version of the uh, of the slide panel. Okay, and so we need one of those. In fact, let's do it for inventory here. Um, okay, so I'm going to type in uh, some terms there. Not recently. So we, we see some inventory items in the list here. Okay, so if I click on one of them, again we slide over to the detail version. All right, so I'm going to use this as a model and copy paste for uh, our new detail panel um, for our supplies module and let's see let's go back to our slide control here it's called panel item detail so I'm just gonna get that on my clipboard double click here click the plus button for a new panel and uh, while we're here let's call, let's change the name this is gonna be panel supply detail go back to the item detail and then uh, command marquee around all those elements to copy them and then and um, and paste okay, and that's not going to line up exactly uh, but while I'm here I'm going to uh, change this word to supplies and double click here and make sure that this button when you click on it goes to uh, the other panel for supply so for the most part, I'm really changing, everywhere you see the word item, I'm changing that to supply, items to supplies, and so on. Um, okay, so let's go back into browse mode. And what I haven't done yet, of course, is change any of the actual fields that appear on these panels. I'm just creating sort of the infrastructure, the panels themselves, um, so that when you click on our new button, it goes to the right uh, panel, and it says supplies, so that's working. Um, I'm going to have to, I would have to get some data in there and get the right fields in place here in order to click here to go over to that um, uh, detail. The, uh, the basics are in place now as far as the, um, the, button, the buttons and the scripts and the slide panels. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.